Rock Nation wrestling fans, we got J-Pan again. We're just going to be talking about the wrestling of the week or whatever happened, happened. Same old, same old. Yeah, so what do you think of AJ Styles is? Finally becoming champion. I the mean, main champion, too. The, not the crappy Raw title, right? <laughs> uh, well, what it looks like it's crappy, but uh, Kevin Owens as champion is pretty cool. What have your... Uh, the, the videos that you've done on the Raw title, what if some of your subscribers set the posts that they've commented well, on? Well, some of them agree that the Raw title looks absolutely horrid. Because it's all red for fuck's sake, it looks so bad. But the new Cruiserweight title, it's purple. It it's, doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't know why... Actually, I finally realized why they did, did the, the purple color. Because it's the same color scheme as uh, the... Cruiserweight Classic, because the marketing for that show. Was yeah, but purple. the Cruiserweight Classic is over. No, but it's a tie-in, so. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know what? I, look, yeah, that is just so stupid. How, like, you, I think you said in one of your videos that if they make the main belt blue, you're you're gonna go like on an ape shit rant or something. I'm gonna lose my shit if they make the SmackDown the main title WWE Championship blue. My God, because we got red, blue, purple. Light blue. It'd be like them making the strap for the NXT title yellow, because the, oh, the 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 color scheme for NXT is yellow. yellow. Yeah. It's like uh, so, like um, calling the like what's the calling the titles the Raw tag titles the SmackDown title. Like you know when you have a title, you're supposed to give it an identity and and brand it. Like calling it the name of your show is just I think you said it or. I forget where I heard it. That's just lazy uh, booking and kind of is lazy booking. The Raw tag team titles, the Raw title, Raw women's title, SmackDown tag team title. It's like imagine uh, like a Luthez, the Raw World Champion, or, or or a Bruno San Martino. Could you picture that? Or think of it this way: uh, NWA territory Mississippi title champion. Isn't there shit like that still to this day? Cause, uh, well, they don't call it that. They just call it something else. There is like an NWA Korea women's champion. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to be racist by that. I'm that's just, actually a fun night. That's actually good. Have you ever took the time to look at all the I NWA? Did a, I did a while back, but there there's so still many. thousands of them. Man. There's so many that it's hard, so hard to keep track. Yeah. But like I said, coming back to the title thing, AJ Styles winning the main title. What do you think? Fucking awesome. It is awesome. I just don't hope they Chris Jericho him. Yeah, and I, I kind of stuck my foot in my mouth with you when, uh, like, uh, and I shouldn't know this just because no, the guy. it's cool to Mark Albert. No, but just because awesome. the guy uh, uh, wins the title doesn't mean he's dumb. I think I said AJ's well, dumb man, and you corrected on, well, me on that. Correction. Depends on how they treat his title run. That's the more important thing. Because Chris Jericho's title run was absolute shit when he first won it. Picking up dog poop, really? And Rey Mysterio for like 20 minutes before John Cena won it back. Who else? Uh, CM Punk's first and second title reign were shit because he got dropped out to Undertaker because he pissed him off for some reason. That was uh, and his third title reign was the best one ever, though, because he actually made him good. Alberto Del Rio's title reigns, not that great. And we're talking about the main title. We're not talking about the world championship or the ECW championship. Let me ask you this. We're talking about the title that actually matters. Uh, the Raw World title. Uh, technically, that's a separate title from the main title. They're two it, different. Yeah, of course. Ages. There's only two champions, Finn Balor and Kevin Owens. But And you've noticed this. Like, the Fed, like, say Kevin Owens, he, he's the current Raw champion, right? The longest reigning. I just love that gimmick. I'm the longest reigning champion. But technically, if you were to go over to SmackDown, and win that title tomorrow, would that make him a two-time world champion or still only in WWE eyes they'll say yes, but technically he's not. I just hate the fact that they always all the combined title reigns, they always say, oh, this guy is a combined champion. No, they don't say he's a combined they say he's this kind of champion when they're counting all their titles. Like technically Rick Flair, they say he's sixteen time champion. He's no, not sixteen. Two time WWF champion. No, technically Rick Flair is either twenty or twenty one. <laughs> Yeah, because the WWE did not recognize certain things, but it's still there. And there's other title reigns that the only the WWE doesn't even mention, which the NWA acknowledges, which is bullshit. And so he's a 21-20. So yeah, John Cena can win the title 
16 times, I wouldn't care because technically he hasn't beaten the streak yet, even though WWE is saying that. And as we're doing this Because we all know WWE likes to tell the truth. <laughs> Quotations. Yeah. Uh, we tell the truth. Yeah, like as uh, we're talking here, um, I'm looking at your DVDs and I see the history of the uh, WWE Championship. And they had that on the network. The, that Did they skip out on some fun things or no? And you're talking about how uh, the WWE title kind of ties in with the NWA title. Which no, it doesn't. Or some shit like that. I, I I forgot they said that, but no, no, it doesn't. Because apparently... Well, maybe it does. I don't know. I got to look back on that. But NWA, WCW title kind of does, but they're separate titles. Oh, my God. There's so much inaccuracies in this shit. It's hard to... It's hard to figure this out. Hell, even the Intercontinental, how, how long did it take you to realize that the Rio de Janeiro tournament never happened? <laughs> I think it was when I was listening to the guys in No DQ. Back when No DQ was actually worth watching. When they had the radio show. I think they mentioned that, and then I looked it up. I was like, oh my god, there was no actual Rio de Janeiro thing. Because WWE likes to make shit up. Yeah, probably... Uh, Makes you wonder why they never actually just... They always talk about the tournament. Why didn't they actually do a tournament? Have you ever thought about that? I have no idea. They just did. Who knows? But anyways, you want to talk about Herman? Oh, Baby Herman? <laughs> Real life Baby the Herman? One, the, 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 the most bland, generic in, jobber... The, the, I didn't know he was an actual wrestler until I saw him twice. I was like, wait, this guy's an actual wrestler? He doesn't even look like a wrestler. But yeah, first time I saw him getting beat by Braun Strowman, I was like, wait a minute, when did real life Baby Herman from Roger Rabbit become a, a thing? Then he shows up on SmackDown, I was like, oh shit, this guy's an actual wrestler. Did you know he actually has a Twitter and he's got tons of followers because of his appearance on WWE? Uh, I can see that because like that guy is pretty funny though. He's actually got a, uh, he actually has a real name. Of course he has a real name. No, I, I don't mean. What that. kind of question is that? No, I, do you care to know is what I'm saying? Fine. Yeah. What's his real name? James Ellsworth or some shit. Whatever. Yeah, they've been calling him James Ellsworth all this time. Or that may be the me, fan. It's just me calling him Baby Herman all this time. Yeah, what about... Yeah, yeah. You go, bro, what's I, wrong with you? Yeah, I know it's funny. It's just the guy... The guy... I, who's that guy that showed up in ECW that was very... Call, uh, the, yeah, I don't, Colin Delaney? I seriously thought that was him when I first saw him. I'm like, wait a minute. Did Colin Delaney shrink? <laughs> really? You thought that was Colin Delaney? It looked like him. He was like white as a ghost. <laughs> and he had this facial feature like this. Look, was like, when he first showed up, like he's like, he had like basically no chin, no I expression, think. no expression. And you know, it's funny to think this guy. Obviously, when they have him teaming with him and AJ Styles as a team, what, does that not? He didn't actually team. I know, him. I know. I'm just hypothetical. Hypothetically, does that not fit or why? It's basically, just like the world champion teaming with who the fuck cares, basically. But well, I, I kind of did that back in the day on SmackDown with uh, Kai and Kai and Brooklyn Brawler taking on Triple H in a handicap match <sighs> in the main event. And, he, and Brooklyn Brawler won. And you know, the funny thing is, I thought. No, no. no yeah, no I know. Common, right? Yeah, no I comment. <laughs> no, I was off. I, I did. I uh, well, this the Brooklyn dude. Everyone knows him. He's like synonymous. His name. I'm not saying he's like as big as Hulk Hogan, but everyone knows who the Brooklyn Brawler is, man. Basically, it's not like this guy. Like, who the fuck did this guy just get off? Who knows? James Ellworth may be the new Brooklyn Brawler. Cause we're in the new era, as they call it. The new era of the new era of the new era. How many fucking new eras has there been? Hell, when Barry Horowitz beat Chris Candino, I was surprised as fuck. That was on SummerSlam, too. Like, they wasted, like, a minute. In he had actually uh, got a little bit of a... It wasn't that long, but it got him a little bit of publicity. I think he did a Survivor Series out of that, too, or the something. The Underdogs against something. They yeah. weren't him and Hakushi a team for a while? Yeah, Jen Jensei Shakuzi. Yeah, I love that guy. And you know, I didn't know those... You know those tattoos on him aren't actually tattoos? Yeah, they're actually just, painted on. I was surprised. I always thought they were real. <laughs> Same here. I found out that they were painted on. I'm like, God damn, that's gonna take forever. Yeah, OSW was talking about that. Yeah, OSW was amazing. 
I love those guys. No, no, like love, love. Just we know what you're talking about. No yeah. homo. Yeah, no, 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 put that out there. <laughs> but OSW guys, basically the uh, the new between the ropes. So have you heard about Ryback? The news. Oh, they legally changed his name to Ryback. Dude, he's pulling an Ultimate Warrior. He's pulling an Ultimate Warrior. Did that? Didn't that guy always give you the Ultimate Warrior kind of vibes, kind of out there? Or are we just Wait, saying Ryback? That? Well, basically, Ryback wasn't an asshole. He actually wanted to work and like, he wasn't like, you know, I know Ultimate Warrior's dead, we're supposed to give him like, we're supposed to be cool to him, but come on, Ultimate Warrior was a bastard when he was alive. And yet when he dies, WWE is being all good to him. He's gonna be a statue now in headquarters. Even though Ultimate Warrior did so much awful shit. You know, that's what, like, say what you want about Triple H and I, uh, the guy has mended a lot of fences that Vince never could have, like with Bruno San Martino. Oh yeah, Bruno San Martino. I was surprised when he showed up. I'd be like, holy crap. Yeah, a million dollars to go in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. And, but uh, does he even watch the product though? I doubt it. But who knows, man. For all we know, he could be rooting on James Elworth. The, under <laughs> the ultimate underdog. It's like hell, like, I, we got some people saying, like, go, James, go, James, go. He's like the ultimate underdog. Daniel Bryan uh, was trolling the fans because SmackDown's got that new post uh, talk show. Talking Smack? Yeah. He was like saying, you know, I could see James Ellsworth getting a contract and being put on the cover of next year's. Uh, they even did a mock copy of 2K17 with him on it. <laughs> I need to see that. I so need to see that. <laughs> That'd be fun. That would be funny. But you know how it takes me a little longer to catch on than ever. I just did not realize till like a couple days ago. I was like, hey, you know who that is? That's fucking Herman from a couple weeks ago on Raw. Where you probably knew that the first time you saw the guy, right? <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, as soon as I saw him. And you're giving me that look. It was baby Herman. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at you. I was like, what the fuck? The, 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 yeah, the. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck look? It's like, really, dude? The, the face palm look, I guess, is the best way to yeah. put it, right? Uh, so, AJ, how long do you see him being champion for? I have no idea. I just hope his title reign goes really well. Although, his first run is not going good as well already, because he, he already lost his first match. Yeah, but, yeah, he, but he, he didn't look, He wasn't the one pinned, though. But his team still lost. Wouldn't it be he's a champion? Wouldn't it be something if he eclipsed? Think about it this. Like, Stone Cold wins the damn belt back in the day. He puts in a tag team title. He's in a tag team match the next day. Would he lose? No. He wouldn't. Yeah. The champion's got to be... Especially they the first like, Book him strong. Book yeah, him strong. Like, like, okay, I know we're talking about the main title, but I'm going to gonna go and say, we're at a world championship, and when Rey Mysterio won it, he lost every fucking week was a horrible champion losing to people left and right you remember that shit oh yeah the great Kali uh, anybody but he's yeah. a bunch of people yeah he definitely was not the s but it's Rey Mysterio isn't that his character though the underdog well he's a champion he should be a strong champion like every other champion but no he won he lost every match even he even when he was in a non-title match, less like a regular match. And that's the thing nowadays. It's like uh, the champions, uh, the non-title thing. I I personally think they overdo that whole non-title match thing. Like when, back in the day, I know it's not the '90s anymore, and you know, champions would only be in matches if it were tag matches or if they were actually defending their titles. They wouldn't do. If they did the non-title match, it, it would have to be for good explanation and reason, you see my yeah. point? But or times not, have changed. Like, times have definitely changed. Yeah, like, uh, then again, back in the day, they had, like, what, a, a weekend show and that was it? This was in the days when they had the uh, promoting of house shows, when we know nowadays live events mean absolutely nothing. They're just... Well, a lot of shows are house shows. They were just not called house shows. Which, which is awesome about NXT because they actually did a title change on a house show. How when Finn Balor lost to Samoa Joe? Yeah. I think we all were uh, surprised by that, right? Right. The last time WWE ever did a title change on a house show, which they never did, 
I think it was when Christian lost the European title to Bradshaw. Or was it Booker T? No, that was the first one I remember. <clears throat> and then they, on SmackDown, they said, oh, Booker T won it on a SmackDown, but we couldn't put it on or something. Oh, yeah, Bradshaw was European one. champion. I totally forgot. For a total, for like a short time. So he, he has won pretty well every title, JBL. No. European Hardcore Tag Team I C. Holy shit, I C. Uh, WWE. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Not the world title though, but yeah, more or less. Uh, yeah, like uh, did, who did he beat? Was it the Hurricane he beat for the European title or something? Or the Hurricane beat him? I think it was Christian or the Hurricane. I forgot which one. And uh, yeah. I thought that was on a Raw though, but they had to cut it off because they. Yeah, it. that's what they told you because you know WWE likes to make up shit. Yeah, here, here, here I am, like uh, Cody Rhodes saying he's uh, studying. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, uh, you want to hear something weird? No, not weird. This guy. It's just go ahead and say it. Okay, the t the term studying tape. Nowadays uh, is just a kayfabe explanation for storyline purposes. Or back in the day, they actually studied tape. But nowadays, in today's age of social media, uh, who fucking studies tape, right? <laughs> well, they study like a one or two tapes of them, but not like not in every terms, single not guy. Every <laughs> single guy, because like they usually go. I, like I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, cause like, they, they like go over their match beforehand, all that stuff, cause that's how they do now. Cause, hell, we all know that the wrestlers go on their matches beforehand and how they do it. Let's put it this way: Cody's opponent has long been decided. They're just saying the studying tape thing is part of the build yeah. for the match to entice ticket sales. Exactly. Where me. Pulling a mark moment, I guess you could say, best way of putting it. Yeah. I actually thought he was studying tape. <laughs> and, you know, you got got a kick out of it, like, well deserved. Just like when I said to you, uh, uh, the Haku thing, like, I was surprised at how well he spoke. And you're like, really? Yeah. Dude? And you thought he was like, really, dude? I only your Meanwhile, blah, 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 blah. What is a former car salesman? Imagine saying no to that guy. It's like, no, sir, I don't want this car. It's like, yes, you do. You will buy this car, goddammit. But have you always known how, like, I was surprised that even Andre feared a Haku, but like you told me, you don't fuck with Haku. <laughs> this Haku can actually kill you. Everyone says that, too. Toughest like, guy in the business. It's like, yeah, the, the, uh, Perry Saturn, the interviewer, was like, in an actual death match between you, this guy, and this guy, and against Haku, who would win? Perry Saturn flat out said, like, Haku would kill us all immediately. <laughs> Uh, are you familiar with the story of when he came to how he got his job in WCW in the first place, Haku? He just walked in or no? Uh, apparently, uh, there was like something about how Glacier would. F uh, Bischoff wanted to see something about a bet about Haku being able to kick Glacier's ass. Glacier. And Damn. <laughs> the, the, the bet turned into. Basically, a national run with the company, so that's more or less how he got his job. So, and you know, what a stereotypical gimmick, Glacier, right? And Mortal Kombat, Kombat from the game Mortal Kombat. Yeah, was and obviously that popular back then. Obviously, well, actually, that guy, I, you know, how on dot com, they, I, I bet you very rarely go on there. But they had the Never where are they the now com. segment. Yeah. Or what guys are up to now? I read one of those, and apparently Glacier is like a certified. Uh, He's like doing what Sean Stasiak does, uh, chiropractor. chiropractor. So he's doing pretty good for himself. So obviously there's life beyond the glacier gimmick. <laughs> yeah, which is cool, I guess. But it's cool he's doing something that he loves. Because uh, yeah, Sean Stasiak is a wrestler. Was not that good. Well, WCW he was enjoyable, but he was not that good in WWF. It's like really, what did Glacier do in WCW that was uh, rememberable that you can think of if you? Recollect. His matches was Morsis? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't him and Ernest Miller have a team for a while? Or yeah. His first off for Cannibal Glacier is Ernest like Miller. Probably. Yeah. Gotta love your mama. A cup of coffee in the Fed too, didn't he? Ernest. Well, he was an announcer at first. For Velocity or something. Then he became a SmackDown announcer after. And wasn't he a 
in one of the rumbles of the... Yeah, and he didn't do anything. He just danced and got eliminated by the man that should not be named, Benoit. Or was it Guerrero? No, it was I Benoit. I thought it was Pegasus Kid. I thought that's the kayfabe term we use for Benoit nowadays. That's what PWA calls him. Well, we can call him whatever we want. I call him whatever. I'm calling him by his name, Benoit, because I don't work for the Fed. I'll call him Benoit. It's like, the man that should not be named. The man was no name. Or He's something. still in the, like, the events that he did for them. He's still in them. They just don't promote him, so. Like, yeah, it's like, of course they don't promote him. Like, Chris yeah. Jericho said on his podcast, it kind of sucks that Benoit had to do this because a lot of his greatest matches were with the guy and he can't talk about them anymore. Yeah, no, there's a lot of good matches. I still have my Chris Benoit DVD and I don't, haven't even seen it yet. And being that we live here in Edmonton, Alberta, wasn't there a Chris Benoit day technically? Many I years? forgot about that. Yeah, there was a Chris Benoit day here. It's no longer around. They actually proclaimed it an official city holiday or legislative yeah. day. So I think I, they silently got rid of it when he did that. It was like, you never hear of Chris Benoit day. And well, this is what I hate about living in where I live, because there's always bullshit going on outside. I bet you hear, hear uh, do you ever hear fellow uh, tenants fighting? Or lots of times when I get more people smoking weed all the time. And the Fast and the Furious having drag races out in the highway there every single night. I bet you get that in a lot of your uh, videos that people yeah, watch on YouTube, eh? I do. You ever get comments about that shit? Surprisingly, no. Because I think they're just, they're just used to it by now. <laughs> but yeah, because uh, anytime I record, it's no matter any time. Doesn't matter what time I record, but always two noises. Uh, there, there's probably sound filters you can do for that shit too. Yeah, but I'm still learning the, the editing thing. Getting better at it. Yeah, right? slowly <laughs> learning. It's like I still, I'm still learning at it. It's never, it's never ending, man. Isn't that with anything in life though? You, you, you start off and you get better at your craft as you go along. Yeah. Cause yeah, like when I first started, I was a nervous wreck. You watch my first videos, I'm like stuttering, mumbling. Can't say a simple sentence. Oh, should we talk about Roman Reigns? <laughs> I love how you segue out of that so quick. Yeah, I just get an idea. Like, okay, mm. what were you saying? No, Sorry. go ahead. Roman Reigns, what? Uh, Roman yeah, Reigns? Uh, he was named, like, apparently PWI number one or two wrestler of the year, and it got him some heat. If you heard, remember that story, people were PO'd off about that. Cause he, PWA? PWI said that? Yeah. Because he, he got voted above like some of the uh, New Japan guys or Ring I can see that, but like I technically have no problem with Roman Reigns. He's okay as a wrestler. He doesn't piss me off as much as Cena does. I can see why people hate him because he's constantly being pushed down our throats. Because he's not an independent darling either, right? So. Well, not well, not that. It's because like he's being forced down our throats, basically. Because he was loved in the Shield. It's not the independent darling thing, man. Oh, yeah, remember when he was in the shield? He was yeah, oh, he more than being pushed down or froze. As soon as he was being pushed down or froze, that's when people started hating him. It's because, like I said, I have no problem with Roman Reigns, Boo Man Reigns, Roman Reigns, whatever. I just know that he can't wrestle that well, and it's gonna be really boring, depending on who he wrestles. Because the WrestleMania match between him and Triple H, I knew that was gonna be a disaster. Yeah. His matches with AJ Styles, not that bad. Well, I read on. Why do you think the matches with Hunter would be so bad? Hunter can go. Yeah, Hunter can go, but with Tr Boo Man Reigns, Roman Reigns, and Triple H is not as agile as he once was. Yeah, because he's like a part timer. Because he's a guy who's very limited. Is it more or less because he's just so busy at the office now that he's a part timer, or is it because he's getting older too? And can't he's getting go? older and everything else too. Plus, also the you know the guy the guy. Speaking of part timers, John Cena. We actually acknowledge he's a part timer now. Storyline. Yeah, but he actually is a part-timer, too. Yeah, because he's doing... But it's bullshit that he gets a title shot right away. Well, think about the Rock came out. Brock. How pissed off were you when The Rock and Punk for the title back then? I wasn't at all, because I love The Rock. I know people were pissed off about that, but fuck it, it's The Rock. John Cena is a different story. Even though The Rock's limited, too, he has his limited mobility. But, you know, he's, he's entertaining as fuck, is what he is. Oh, The Rock, uh... Don't get your hopes up for him doing a Mania match next year. He's uh, filming a movie the next year. Fast? Well, what is he filming? He's I already done it Fast and Furious. Seems like the dude is always working. It's like he never takes time off. Just It's like he's got that Vince Dude, McMahon. he's a hard-working guy. 
You know there's a beef between him and Vin Diesel? I don't know what the hell Vin Diesel happened. Yeah, they were talking about some match at WrestleMania, more or less. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever, but... Either that's real or it's for a WrestleMania moment. I don't know, but yeah. How about Shaq versus Big Show? Oh, have? for fuck's sakes. No. <laughs> Fuck no. No. Have you seen what Big Show looks like now? The same? He lost a lot of weight. Well, good for him. He lost a lot. He's very he, skinny. He reminds me of 99 Big Show again. But oh. he still sucks. What the fuck? That's uh, Facebook. But yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. But I hope he is better, but highly doubt because like he's getting older and stuff. But then again, we're still quite a ways away from next year's WrestleMania. There's always the work. Hell, how many how long has Hogan been petitioning with a match for Cena, right? So Yeah, always, man. Always. And Hulk, it's like WWE is kinda of letting Hogan back into the company of the Test Test in the water. Testing the water. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, speaking of people losing weight, have you seen what Rey Mysterio looks like? No. The dude is jacked up. He's been jacked for a while, man. More jacked up than usual. More than... You like, know what your Conan used to look like? That... Big as hell? That would not be... That definitely would be a horrendous sight. <laughs> he, it's like, Rey Mysterio, he's big as shit. Holy crap, you gotta look at his recent picture. No, one, no, no wonder he's definitely... Not as agile as he was in his WCW days, that's for sure. Oh my god, I'm gonna show you this picture right now. So what do you think, like, Rey Mysterio, what he looks like, man? Fuck. Yeah, he's huge, man. He doesn't... My god, man. Well, like, WCW, he was a small guy, then came into the Fed. He was a little bit bigger, getting a little bit more, but now the dude just freaking jacked to the gills, man. Can he even still do high-flying moves? Now Definitely not a cruiserweight anymore. That's what I'm saying, he's no longer cruiserweight. Fuck. So, uh, uh, of, of all the guys that they're, because they're, for, especially for SmackDown, they're bringing back a lot of past guys like Kurt Hawkins and Shelton's going to return when he gets up. Uh, why, why are they making Kurt Hawkins like Chuck Norris now? Kurt Hawkins f does not fear snakes. Snakes fear Kurt Hawkins. They're doing the whole Chuck Norris thing. Well, I never noticed that. But then again, there's a lot I don't notice. But yeah, yeah, of course you don't notice. Yeah. Of course I would tell you all this. It's funny, though, know, now that we're talking, it's actually kind of, whether they came up with it or he did, it's, it's, that's the thing about wrestling. Anything that's older, that's new, again, or unique and fresh, why not do it, right? Yeah. But he's kind of doing what Matt Hardy did back then. When you did the whole Mattitude thing, like, Matt Hardy version 1 likes to do this. Maybe that's his inspiration. Probably. Oh, speaking of Matt Hardy, would you want to see the broken Matt Hardy gimmick on WWE TV? I'm going to tell you the truth now. Like, you know, this, his new gimmick of his, it's pretty entertaining. I thought it was going to be shit, but then I watched a TNA match. I watched a TNA show with him in it. But like, the rest of this show is shit, but Matt Hardy is saving this shit. Because the way he's done, he like... You know, like, I'll say what OSW guys have said. He's gone full retard is what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because WWE tried to do that with, like, the New Day and uh, Wyatt, but they didn't go full out. Like how Oh, Matt yeah, Hardy they had did. that compound for all the summertime. Yeah. yeah, but they didn't go full out like Matt Hardy does, because, like, yeah, like OSW review guys said, they didn't go out full retard, because <laughs> that's what Matt Hardy's doing. So he's just... Going full out. Is is Jeff a heel now? What's the I deal? have no idea. It's just weird. It's entertaining. I gotta watch that match. First time ever that I'm interested in a TNA match. Oh, speaking of TNA, uh, there's rumors going around that WWE's interested in buying them. I see. Ah, that. that news has been going on for years, man. So I'm saying nothing that's old that is new and relevant. No, it's not. It's been going every year. You hear that shit. Oh. I Proves what I know then, I guess. I just, yeah. I, I never, oh, what am I saying? I didn't know that this is, I just thought this was something recent, but like I said, proves what I know, I guess. So it's nothing new, but wouldn't it be, think about it, the fact that they actually did buy TNA. Wouldn't that be? I, uh, I can see that happening. They bought out WCW. Imagine if they bought out TNA. They have the TNA library, man. But it's not like they would uh, help. Like, they, they, they've re- even though they're doing Clash of Champions again, it's technically... But remember, remember though, they named it Clash of Champions. They didn't name Clash of the Champions because they want to make it their own thing. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't think about I didn't, that. I didn't notice that either. 
until OSW, uh, another plug to OSW guys. Oh, They're the ones who mentioned it. They still ordered me with Spinner Hopes. <laughs> yeah, because like, I never, I, I would not have thought of it. Like, hey, they're doing a WCW thing. And then I'm listening to them and go like, no, but it's Clash of Champions, not Clash of the Champions. Technicality. Yeah. They want to make it their own thing. Since we're talking about OSW, I just got to say, Jay, what bar is that? <laughs> what bar is the Miz? I swear, they, they gotta be the biggest hardcore Simpsons fans on the planet, the OSW guys. Well, we all were once a part of time. Well, have they ever said, are they old school Simpsons fans or fans of the new stuff? Have they ever talked about I that? I don't know, I think probably old school, because they're old school. Have you yeah. heard, have you seen a fan that likes the new Simpsons? Have you seen anyone that watches the new Simpsons? There's a first for everything though, right? Yeah, it's so true. you never know. Um, but I, I just, I, it, it's so cool. It's just like they got the, 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 the Springfield Elementary theme opening, and then they have like a Dean Ambrose in the screen. It's just, it's obviously. Oh, Dean Ambrose as champion was horrible, man. I was trying to give him a chance, but his title run was awful. Like I said, it depends on how your title run is. Look at Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I were to ask you right now, poor Dolph Ziggler still getting. Low mid carder for life. Hey, but there, I I don't know what's going on. How many he he's got like, did you know he's a an analyst for Fox News? Who is Dolph Ziggler? He is. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did not know that. So he's got stuff going on outside of WWE. So how? Basically, a lot of guys have a lot of stuff going on outside WWE. Like it's uh, not like how back in the day where you're only. Focused on WWE now, anybody can do whatever they want. But well, not anybody. Depends. It's surprising because uh, so, like uh, I think some of like Maria Kanellis, one of the reasons she left is because they were saying you can't do this and that outside of WWE. So I'm surprised Vince is letting them have lives. Well, look at it this now, like NXT guys, like some of these guys are not actually full-time contracted wrestlers. Nakamura still not a full-time contracted wrestler. <laughs> I uh, Bobby Roode isn't, Garango isn't. So they can still work. Eric Young just recently signed a full term contract. So he's a full time employee. Oh yeah, because it, it, it all depends on their deals. They have the yeah. different structures. So Mojo, so. he's still like, I don't know what he's doing. He still has stuff outside WWE. Because didn't he do a, like, a Ring of Honor show after having appeared on NXT television? But yep. they just didn't air it on the pay-per-view or something like that. I think they aired it, didn't they? No, I think it was like a tag match. They just did a dark match. Oh, instead. right, right. But he was allowed. As long as you don't walk. Yeah, that's what they do. Don't show him on the pay-per-view. As long as Oh, let's talk about this Cody Rhodes being able to be Cody Rhodes thing. That's being not thing. being able to be Cody Rhodes. Oh. But that, it makes sense that he can't use his yeah, Cody Rhodes name. Because it's not his name. Is they gave him the name Cody Rhodes. Yeah, but look who his father was. Dusty Rhodes. Doesn't that give him some loopholes? No, because Dusty Rhodes used that name in NWA and carried it forward. So should that let make it so he can do it too? No, because Cody Rhodes didn't have that name before. Before Cody Rhodes, he was known as Cody Runnels. When he got to WWE, they gave him the name Cody Rhodes. So, so he doesn't own the name. You know he signed with more or less with TNA and Ring of Honor. He's doing the double shot, which is surprising in its own He's right. not... Full, yeah, well, he's <coughs> part. He has a special. He's not fully contracted to either one of those. So if he's going to be appearing on those promotions, he'll probably just be Cody Reynolds. Then. Yeah. Which uh, which is like I like the name Cody Reynolds, but we're so used to Cody Rhodes though. But like I said, think of it this way: Dusty Rhodes, not his real name, Virgil Reynolds Jr. Yeah. But Dusty Rhodes used that name in NWA, WCW. So then went over to w WWE. Got to still keep his name, but uh, WWE doesn't own the name Dusty Rhodes. But they can own the Cody Rhodes name. Now. Yeah, they own the Cody Rhodes. Because they gave it to Cody Rhodes. Oh, I just thought the fact of who his father was could uh, buy him special favors, but I guess not. Nah. But apparently... Well, I hope it could be, but no, it doesn't look that way. But the, the fact they think so highly of Dusty, hell, they named a tag team tournament after the guy, which is cool. Yeah, but they own the name to the Dusty Rhodes Classic. Yeah, they own that, but it, it's just, you know, you, you figure Vince... Like, would, Dusty Rhodes, like, never signed his name over. Chris Benoit did. <sighs> Dusty Rhodes didn't, because he doesn't want to sign over his own name. No, he's not that stupid. Yeah, but Chris Benoit, like, he he was in love with the business. He would do anything, but yeah. 
I, I just figure, so basically, even though your father has the same last name, if they give you that name, it doesn't No, give, but you're missing the point. I know what you're saying. Yeah. They gave him the Cody Rhodes name. They own it, so you yes. can't use it. Just like how the Dudley Boys can't use the name outside of WWE, because uh, Paul Heyman never did the uh, paperwork for that. Yeah, that's Paul Heyman. <laughs> Paul Heyman's fault. <laughs> I love the stories of when Chris Jericho was working ECW. He'd call up and Paul would have that fake roommate. <laughs> Never actually... Is it a uh, Mick or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what's your favorite old school uh, Paul Heyman ECW not paying talent stories that you know of that you can think of off the top of your head? The one where, like, oh, in the ring or outside the ring? Just general, just since we're shooting the shit. I gotta say the Chris Jericho one where like he get his roommate. Or the fact that was it him or Benoit? Oh, I think it was Benoit. Part of the reason he stopped working for ECW is because he was getting stopped at the border coming from Canada and the States or Because like, his visa wasn't verified. Like it would give him like a five year ban. Paul Heyman kept on saying, like, oh no, you have a verified visa. I put in paperwork, which he never did. Would you consider like a, a Steve Austin on ECW original? Or uh, Chris Jericho, because their runs weren't that long there. And yeah, started. but they were still there, though. Because OSW talked about that, too. They're like, I don't think these guys are really ECW originals, because they're right. Another another OSW point. God, we mentioned yeah. these guys a lot in our videos. True, I know, but we all have our own opinions, though. Like, yeah, I consider... You may consider them not originals, but I consider them. Yeah, it's like you, anyone who's there. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like you told me. You can't agree with what everyone says because if you do, that makes you a fanboy or or yeah, or you don't think for yourself. Is that your YouTube notifications? That keep no, on? that's Facebook. Yeah. I never realized how annoying that is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, oh God, we're talking. I guess we just shit, shit you. You know, you just go off on a tangent and you forget about. But yeah. Um, uh, EC ECW, uh, you know, it just makes you realize, like, they really, uh, you know, like, even OSW again, they talked about, like, how, because uh, that show they did before TNN, Hardcore TV, they actually had to pay to get that in syndicated. Yeah, that was bullshit. Like, they had to pay to get that in syndicated. Where they really got, I think they, they really got screwed over, ECW. Didn't they have a supposed television deal with the USA Network at the last? Yeah, but they would put them on, on at the worst time ever. Like two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, and I think we all were surprised as hell on March fifth, two thousand one, or whatever the day was, when we turned on Raw, and instead of Jerry Paul Lowe, Heyman, yeah, yeah, man, I was surprised. And obviously, you knew who Paul Heyman was by then. Uh, technically, I didn't know who Paul Heyman was back then. Technically, I knew of ECW, but I still never knew about. Paul but you know Heyman. what's cool if you watch? This is what happens. Yeah, you learn along the way, along the way. If you watch the original ECW invasion of Raw '97. He's still going by the Paul E. Dangerously name, which is cool. That was a better invasion than <coughs> the one in 97. Because <clears throat> they were actually on Raw having ECW matches. Not the extreme rule matches they had later on. Remember that match on Raw where they had Chris Benoit versus Tajiri in an extreme rules match? Oh, yeah. When they never did extreme rules matches with those two? Great. Yeah, anything goes. But yeah, Chris Benoit was always technical. Yeah, but can't. Technical guys being extreme matches. So yeah, but dude, the thing is, he never did one, and it's no, there was no purpose for him to be in it because Vince McMahon does, doesn't know how ECW worked. Isn't he the same guy that thought all the ECW fans won away on the one night stand thing? On the yeah, how uh, Vince's ego and how he doesn't pay attention. Speaking to guys that don't pay attention to things. Vince is definitely one of those guys. He doesn't know that there's a thing called uh, Asian porn. Or the Pirates of the Caribbean with Paul yeah. Virgil or... Uh, I would not be surprised if one day he watches... What, stuff. Asian porn? Uh, tell me, maybe you told... Tell, tell it to me like you're telling it to me for the first time, I, I guess. Maybe you probably told me, but I forget that story. Vince and Asian porn. Well, Jim Ross was talking to Vince McMahon one day. Because Gail Kim was like hired and stuff and like... But Jim Ross was saying, like, hey, why don't we get Gail Kim more TV time or something, blah, blah, blah. And it's because, like, going, no, no, not really. And it's like, Vince, you do realize that the Asian women are loved by men, right? It's like, really? What? What are you talking about? Vince, there's Asian porn out there that men love. And Vince is, like, going, like, 
Get the hell out of here. There's no Asian porn out there. <laughs> He's like, no, really? Hey, I, I go, do you think Vince McMahon can see Breaking Bad? No, I highly doubt it. Talk about me being behind on television times, but Vince is way behind on everything, man. Like, uh, like I said, like when you, I, whenever the day he watches Scarface, I bet you anything he'll sue that company for so like, living off like four years, years old. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if he goes like, "I'm gonna sue them for a copyright infringement for the Razor Ramon character." Well, he didn't know. What, well, one of his staff had to bring Pirates of the Caribbean to his attention, right? Cause yeah. Like, it's like, oh, why is he a good guy? Shouldn't he be a bad guy? Vince, have you not seen Pirates of the Caribbean? I just remember Paul Virchel getting killed. Was it Mark Henry that killed that gimmick on SmackDown? I forget who it was, but I enjoyed that gimmick. It was hilarious. <laughs> Even though it was going nowhere for him, it was still hilarious. Entertaining. Yeah, like, uh, Scarface, uh, isn't that, or, or is it Cape Fear that Waylon Mercy's based off of, I think? Cape Fear. From, like, that Robert De Niro movie. Probably the same thing with that movie, too. I, I highly doubt Vince has seen that. I highly doubt it. I don't think Vince watches any movies. Well, Vince is hurt Because he's right always now. focused on his company. He's hurt right now, so... Yeah, the dude's 60 years old. He's still working out like he's 20. Dude, you're not that young anymore. And obviously we know that body that he has is not... He's got to have some... Yeah, take some juice. He's got to be on something, basically. For a 60 year old and still has that kind of body... Yeah, man. Seriously. But Hunter, on the other hand, he's a gym beast, too. Have you ever... Him and Stephanie, when they're not working, they they got their own private gym that they're always working out in, so... They're, it seems the gym thing runs in the family. Yeah. What do you think of the rumored match between uh, Brock Lesnar versus Shane McMahon? I just hope Brock does not get killed. Isn't there that Shane McMahon thing? I just hope he doesn't become Shane McMahon's bitch. You know he will. But Brock Lesnar will beat him at the end, though. And we've talked about... But here's the formula for any Shane McMahon match or lead-up to a match. Shane McMahon smiles and nods all the time. Does not look scared whatsoever. Makes the, his opponent look like a bitch. The yeah, he did, do, he did not show any fear of the Undertaker gimmick. No, he? neither was Kane. He took Kane to a fucking dinner, man. Yeah. But yeah, when the match happens, that's when, like, Shane gets his ass kicked. So Unless it depends on who you are, because, like... We what do you think we'll see that match? Survivor Series, Rumble, Mania? I have no idea. Probably. Obviously, if they, he f 5 the guy at SummerSlam, that's the tease up. Tease yeah, because as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, fuck, we're going to have a Shane McMahon and Brock Lesnar match. And you know, you know, it probably would not have been more or less the greatest match. You know, the, the, we all respected so much more of Orton versus Lesnar. Like, maybe They're something. doing that on a live show, the second match, for some reason. I don't know why they're doing it on a live show and not doing it on a TV show or a pay-per-view. You know who I really would love to see work with Lesnar? Probably will never happen is Dolph Ziggler. Dolph would get killed? Yeah, but think of the match those two could have. It would be awesome, man. It's so But then again, as you say, Brock is not the Brock of old. So, he, really, what is there? The suplexes to him, the F5? That's the suplex, the F5s and all that. Like, it's not like... WrestleMania 19, where he's uh, doing the uh, shooting star press to Kurt Angle. Where he almost died. Or, uh, you know, uh, but then again, you know, the guy, um, you know, when you do those UFC fights, they take a lot out of the uh, two man, because that stuff is physical as hell. It's technically the real stuff, right? It's, yeah. And were you surprised that Punk got killed in his UFC already? Have you talked about that in any of your prior YouTube videos? No, because I don't really focus on MMA. But if we're going to talk about that, like I, I'm not surprised that he lost because usually wrestlers that do go in MMA usually use it, always lose their first match because they're not ready. Yeah, he maybe he just... But sometimes you got trial by error. you got to learn from your experiences. Yeah. He'll probably have another... It's like anything, man. You know, like... Uh, the, like if you start playing baseball, you don't go right to the New York Yankees. You, you go to developmental, and Punk really should be going to one of the smaller MMA promotions, like a Bellator or something. And yeah, like learn your way up. But yeah, it took him two years though. But yeah, at least he was honest that he lost. Like he was a humble guy. He was actually himself. He are you not really, Are you familiar with his buddy uh, Chael Sonnen? He's actually a trained wrestler too. Yeah, I heard of Chael Sonnen. I watch him on off, off the record. Like, so. And he's uh, actually, I think he's a retired anime guy. He does commentary now. So 
it, it can be done. Wrestling and uh, MMA cross over all the time. Like, you know, it's funny, TNA signed Well, up. yeah, they can cross over. I was just saying, the first time they go over is when they usually lose. Yeah. When they're doing it for a couple more times, then they start getting good at it. But also, too, it, it's the media. They exaggerate and make things bigger than what it actually is, you know? Yeah. Like, punk lost, so you'll learn from it. You know, it's not like he's hurting for money. He, he's made his money. He, he can afford to play around a bit per se so yeah. he'll learn get better and you know if it's meant to be it's meant to be just like anything in life like right. just like you with your videos I'm sure you're learning all the time and you know think of when you started out from your first video to, to, to now you're probably 20 times better if you I'm never say better, I'm just saying like I noticed how it was from when I started to how I am now yeah so it's like anything you don't start off the best you gotta you know, slowly transition and groom yourself. It's like, think of Shawn Michaels. He didn't become the heartbreak kid overnight. He had to go through the, the the loops with Marty Jannetty, and yeah. you know, uh, you know, yeah. Even though Marty Jannetty is a term, and everyone says he's a Marty Jannetty team, but you know, I still kind of find kind of funny because Marty Jannetty is a former tag team or continental champion, but it's just he's, he's not a tag. Oh yeah, tag team champion. Yeah. One two three kid. I always forget that shit. But that was like for a day. And his IC championship lasted like a week. I'm just saying, you know, he, he did have his own accomplishments. He's just he yeah, shot my worst as a big star. Champion, tag team champion. Yeah, his his IC title run was like what two weeks or a week or something. And he wasn't he reason he lost it because he got high or something. I think he lost his steel. Well, well, back in I think it's not for how many times has Barney Jane been fired for so him? many, so many times. I think there there was. Supposedly, him and Sean were WrestleMania eight nine. Yeah, but that didn't happen because yeah, because Marty Sha Marty got himself over. Have, have been having drug problems. I would love to see Sean versus Marty at WrestleMania. That would have been amazing, but we could never get that now. But isn't there a lot of matches that were supposed to happen at WrestleMania? That yeah, there was like a lot of them. Hogan and Flair. Uh, I think Savage and Jake were supposed to work together at Mania. Yeah, and you know, it's just like. It's like every year, man. It's like the chances are the dream card that they have for Mania going a year prior. It's probably so many changes. It, oh, it's man, probably happening like every year. It takes them a year to do that. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of changes. It's like you, what you told me with Expo. You know, they don't finalize the uh, Comic Expo a year in advance. It's like two weeks before the show because they gotta finalize. The, the schedule with these guys because yeah. they all have their own things going on. Right. Like, it's not like Stephen Amell is sitting at home just counting the, the minutes to the Edmonton Expo. <laughs> He's probably filming his uh, show and doing, you know, things doing, and doing other things. commitments. Like, uh, probably when they book these guys on Kimmel or whatever, they probably do that months in advance as well. Yeah, exactly. But before we end this, what do you think of Heath Slater and Rhino being tag team champions? Uh, comic gold, man. Yeah, it fits the storyline, but it depends on how long the story is going to go. Because It's an enjoyable storyline, just to see... It's a filler. Yeah, double Y, baby. I just love that. Uh, but we'll see how long it lasts, because like, I highly doubt they'll be like champions for like six to seven months. And we all know Heath doesn't have eight or ten kids, yeah. as they're saying on TV. Yeah, exactly. And with that, we'll leave with that. Take it easy, wrestling fans. Peace out. Bye.